we're back. And we're back. And we're back. Keep us good show. We're done. Zoom shack number 116. I figured a good way to start off here this week would be looking for my guma. But review and booze clank. So I get him find that guma. But I have let's turn the lights on please. I do have my Haliga Ruby Nachman. Then we're back. Never left. Now we're back. Now we're back. Let's go. Well, the Gemara is at leg. Is at leg, but we know we learned this Gemara with the Marsha on Thursday. And so now you're going to see the, the Gemara inside again. And we have it in in the Rebbe Nachman that talks about this Gemara. Now, Erev Shabbos, I went through the Rebbe Nachman because really it's a whole stickle. It's a stickle five. And I went through it and he's talking about etc. And I went through it and he's talking about like, oh, it's a whole thing about Haru and etc. And then he says, and that's the Beirush. And so we're going to learn the, the story of Rav Rachana until I get my regular Gemara. We can still, we can see the Gemara and the Rashbam from here. So we're going to start the Gemara. Words of Zoom Shag 116 in the scores of the in the scores of the captives and of the soldiers trying to free them. Um, this is the beginning of week number 24, which is gonna be um uh, half a year. I don't know. We I don't know, it's six years, it's six months. But it might not be half a year because we have other days this month. But this is going to be for six months and for 24. Oh, and we're back. And we're back. And we're back. 24 month, <laughs> month week number 24 of not missing a year, learning in the schuss of the Velt. Early Matarian Chief of School shows in the schuss of the world. And the the soldiers and the uh, captains and uh, you should all be zayich to understand this sweet sweet Kamara. I'm a Rav Arachan, a Zim Nechad, a Havaslinam B'Shufim. So I was once going in this in this in this Sfina, and Rabbi Nachman keeps saying, "Oh, Sfina is Lashon Chashivos." Everyone's saying Sfina Lashon Chashivos. Now, why is this Safina Lashon Chashivas? Now, usually, sometimes, usually, sometimes when we're analyzing the etymology of a word, some will say something, and I'll be like, maybe. Sometimes it's like more mukhrach. But I have an etymological theory that I would love to share with you guys. But first, before I hazard this Havamina, I gotta put on my Rabbi Barakana hat, shut up and fish. Right? He was going in a boat, a Safina. Safina reminds me, and again, it's possible that I'm wrong, but Safina reminds me of the part of the Seder that we call Safun, which is the hidden part, the most chashiv part. It's the mitzvah del Raisa part. We call eating the Avikaimim, we call it Safun. Safun, because it's hidden, because it's important. Okay, so I was going in this well, I, I love that part. That's a, that's a, such a good shot. I love that. Yo, thank you so much, brother. I'm glad that you that you appreciate it. Yes. It might because also if you think about it, the sa and the tsa are similar letters. You know, like like samech, bina, and safun. Versus, it's a phone, right? Great. Yeah. The the sound is called a frictive. It's a, but 
and maybe it's also effective. And it's, it's almost like the same sound, but when you're pushing a little harder, like a plosive, like or okay. Anyways, so it's Lajon Gashivas. We know that the Ben Yehoyada said that, oh, what does it mean that he's going in the boat? Right? All of these, all of these people who who we expect that usually they're talking about such spiritual things, they're all coming out of the woodwork here and say, well, he's not actually on a boat right here. He's actually, you know, he's just seeing it in the Vuar, he's just learning Khachmas and Nister. So he's learning Kabbalah the Khazina. And what did he see when he was learning the secrets of Tyra? <laughs> <laughs> I was going in a boat. This uh, guy defends uh, so that guy. Uh, now, if anyone has Jastro, I wouldn't mind a, to Jastro this word, but I'm gonna hazard a guess based on what we saw yesterday or last year. It seems to be that guy Stefina is that it sailed. I don't know that word. I don't know. Slings. You look up Samich Gimel in, in uh, Samich Gimel Aleph, maybe Sega Genesis. It, but it, 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 it seems like it sailed. The boat sailed. Being Shitsa the Shitsa de Kavra. So Shitsa, the Rajbam says it's not beer. And Shitsa, Shitsa, Zavra, it's the snap beer and begava dog. Ve'echa l'zara rosh, ve'echa l'zara zanav. So he had two fins on his back, right? On his, he had two fins on his back. So maybe it's like this. They were on the boat and they saw that right next to them, this giant fish was swimming super duper fast. And he had... Two, he had two fins, and we were able to keep up. Um, Bain Shitsa the Shitsa. Maybe it's not that it was a giant fish. Maybe it was a super fast fish, and we were able to keep up. Like we didn't lose, not even like we didn't even fall like one fin behind. You know, we we're just in the middle of these two fins, and we were keeping up the, the pace. And now here's something I don't understand. So it was three days and three nights. Iu b'zikiva the anam b'shipula. So Iu b'zikiva he was going against the ruach. He was going kineged ruach. He was going. He was what you would call a salmon swimming up the stream, paddleless up the creek. Can induce stupid chill without having y'all with me. Stupid heaves. Wondering to whom Pashu is referring, I'm lucidly the Rifa king and talking to all human beings. So the salmon is swimming up the, up the, you know, it's going against, they call it, it goes uphill, it's going against the wind. We're going the way that we're going with the wind because of the, because the water of the Yam. The water of the sea doesn't flow only according to the wind that is that is affecting them. So now a year might be wait a second, but I learned that it was the moon in school. You know they taught us in science class it was the moon. So two possibilities: first possibility, science doesn't know what they're talking about. Second possibility is that the moon affects the winds, which affects the which affects the waves, and so really, um, that's a true statement about the wind affecting about the moon affecting the uh, the waves. But anyways, Rabenus, how did that? How could such a thing work? That I'm keeping up with the fish, but we're going in opposite directions. What? If you say, wait a second, the Savita doesn't sail that fast, right? I don't believe it. He has the Rav Dimi. When Rav Dimi came, Amar, he's dead. When he came from Eretz Israel to back from Bava, Rav Dimi, we know he's going back and forth, back and forth, like Jack of Organs, Veer, and to court. 
When Rav Dimi came, he says, it's the time of Kamecham Kum Kum Demaya. Zog Raji Shur Mechamim Kum Bum Shomayim Chamim. It seems it's the speed to get hot water to even heat up. Vishadi Parsha Gira Bekad Malay E. Someone would, would, would shoot a trajectory, a trajectile, a projectile, a trajectory, would shoot an arrow, and the arrow would come, and the bow was faster than even like the arrow. Faster than the speed of arrow, you know? Yeah, super sad. Super callous crash. So it's going very fast. Oh, this animal was a gilded of Demaya. They don't bring the Rajbam on Gildana. Was there no Rajbam on Gild? Ovi? Oh, So he's saying that not Gildana. So there is a Gildana in the Gemara, but not in the Raj, not in the Rabinu, Rabbi Nachman's version. It says Gildana is the name of a small dog. It was one of the small fish. It was a guild in a kidana. The easily traced pizza is two fins. About Shardag, the rest of the fish, they only have one fin on the back of their on the back of, of the back. I don't even know fish is fish had bags. Okay, so we saw the Maisa. Now, Rabbeinus, let us look into it. Let us think before we see the Heliger Rabbi Nachman. Let us think. What are the parts of the story that need to be taken apart? Okay, so we have the boat. We said a boat could be like a Shivas, Lazar Kabbalah, or it could be just a regular boat. It could be the boat going in Gullah. There's a lot of things that the boat can represent. And it was sailing, and there was a fish. Now, this fish, they call it a kavra. Now the kavra just seems to be the name of a fish, right? It's not the name of it's not the name of a specific fish. It's just the name of a word called fish. Kavra. How do I know? Because when they're talking about specific fish, they name they say it's specific fish. They say, Oh, this little uh, gilda is a name is the name of a small fish. When it says Gavra, Rajbam just says dog. He just says, oh, a fish. Okay. But I don't see that Rajbam. So I feel like, no, maybe the Rajbam doesn't say Gavra, but the Gra said Gavra dog. Okay. Anyways. Anyways, Rabbi News. Okay. So we have that to figure out. We have to figure out what it means as going the same. same same speed as the fish, the fish is going this way, we're going that way, they're going opposite directions, we're going to the same speed. If you don't think a fish can go that fast, we compare it to two things, to hot water heating up, going to a boil, and to someone throwing an arrow, and they say, oh, there's a special fish called the gilda. And the gilda, the gilda has two fins. What is the difference? What does it mean to a fish with two fins? Says the Heiliga, Heiliga, Rabbi Nachman. I know we're all Desperate for Gra to make a reappearance, but right now we have a Rabbi Nachman, and we're very grateful for it. Savinta Lashon Chashivas. Right away, he says the boat is Lashon Chashivas. What does that mean? Important? They're going in importance. Da Vachinas Gevura Yira. That's the Vachina of Gevura Yira. So Vachina of Gevura, which means Yira, I guess. Come on, Shikaza. I got a hig in my mig. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Look at this. Um, Gemosha goes like he says, Yira Sashem he Otra. What is, what are we, what are we, what are we, what are we collecting here? Are we collecting, uh, freaking t shirts. Uh, we collecting, we're collecting Yira Sashem. That's what we have in our storehouse. Shehi Igra Hashivas, that's the most important thing. Yir Hashem really is the most important thing. Most important Mida. 
to understand Yira, not to understand it as Pachad, fear. Jacob Schwartz's picture is unbelievable because it shows him at a computer paying the most like incredible attention. You like that? <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. It's genius. It's genius. It made it for what? It made it for class. I could pretend like I'm paying attention when I was in school, but when I was doing my master's. <laughs> genius, genius. I can tell. I can tell you look so intently paying attention. Like you couldn't possibly be paying as much attention in real life. <laughs> it looks like it looks like in that picture you're paying attention to looking like you're paying attention and not paying attention. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. So, so she saw. So the Igor Hashivas is here as Hashem. So we're on a path in this story to try to understand here as Hashem the most important mission that a yid could ever encounter. And Shitsa is Lashon Tsara. So we said Shitsa is Lashon Finn. And we brought even maybe, I don't know, maybe um, the Marsha yesterday brought a Lashon of Shitsa being like Kilion, being like a Lashon of destruction, maybe. And he was talking about that after with Purim. But we're in a new story. And Rabbi Nachman says Shitsa is Lashon Tsara. There's no one I want to tell this shot to more than Schlegs. Where's he at? Where's Schlegs? I don't know. He said he's listening in. He's not yeah, listening in. Not even listening in. It's okay. He was in, and I was going, and he's gone. Okay. She's the Lush on Zara. The motion goes of the Angla Osam Tiraga. The Argumo Ashadse. Yadzon, the Akale. Oh, he says Shitza is a lajon of of like danger or tough times, and he brings the same puzzle of lajon kilion that we saw by Rabbi, by uh, the Marsha. By the way, the Marsha what was his name Shmuel. By the way, the Rashbam what's his name Rabbi Shmuel. By the way, me what's my name? Pasha. Plus the Yom in the Leila, Leila, three days in the United States, Mitzvah, that's talking about Mitzvah. Touch like the only reason that we're doing this boring Rabbi Nachman is because he's a breast lover and he loves to see the. Tell him if he doesn't come back this year, I'm burning the Rabbi Nachman. Not funny. Very I mean, Chalil is obviously very important. So three days and three nights is the Bechina of Mitzvah. So when it says three days and three nights, it's reference to three different types of mitzvahs. Mitzvahs muskalos, like that makes sense to us. Like, for example, don't kill me. You know, and then there's mikubalos, mitzvahs that like, I'm mikabal, like it makes sense. Like, yo, like don't, I don't know what's a good mitzvah, mikubalos, I can't think of it. Like, but mitzvah of a cult is like, you know, eat kosher or something. Like oh, mitzvah of maybe is like korbanos. So like, right, we don't really understand it. Like, we kind of understand it. Like, it's like a It's like a cult. Like, okay. Like, I'm killing this animal as a kapara for myself. Like, makes sense. You know, it's not maybe it's not like muskalo. Like, don't kill, don't rob. There's something that I can accept. Oh, okay, I'm bringing this korban as a kofar nafshi for myself. And then there's the cult. Uh, don't eat this. Don't eat, eat this fish, not that fish. Makes no sense. Those are three days of mitzvahs, maybe. But every mitzvah I've heard, you're supposed to do this because the Abish just said. Ah, oh, even the mitzvah that makes sense, but I'm doing it because it makes sense. Maybe it's because of the state aid. State aid, Mr. Why? And another reason? Oh, what? Well, I'm going to use my Seikha and Noshas to analyze. Bichzim, and it says Behem, and it says Behem. Beha, Ba wa 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 ya imam ba la ila. Frack Rabbi Nachman, how do I know this is a reference to mitzvah? That's the raya because it says that we were in the fish. We were keeping up with the fish three nights and three days. Three days, three nights must be a reference to three different types of taira because it says that he's a boy of a la Yeah, that's what Rabbi Nachman says. Iu b'zikivu the anan b'shipule. Yeah, it's a regular song. 
I want to know the Abister's type. Very waxful. Who's that? He was a Kiva. He had a reaction for Anambishibula, but we were soft. No. The fish, it was going uphill and we were going downhill. The Zeb Bechinas is my Hashem b'mazav. Hashem should be happy with his act, with his, with his, what he does. Is my Hashem b'osav. So Hashem should be happy with his action, with his myself. Israel should be happy with their doer. I don't know. To make up the way, he was even they were going up, we were going down. Ah. <laughs> Could you look up where this pasuk is? Yes, Hashem b'masav. No, just like tell your dad. Can you do it? Probably, I'll be out in a minute. It's probably to heal him. Maybe. Kemosh Gazov, like yes, Hashem b'masav. Kemosh Gazov, like it says, the nose me in Lebanon, and it's dripping down from the Lebanon. Oh, and we're. <laughs> And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> it's from Yehi Chavod. What? It's from Yehi Chavod in the prayers, right? Yeah. Ah, Yehi Chavod. So where is that Yehi Chavod? It's the Helen. It comes from the Helen. Givaldic. Okay, so Yismach Hashem. But how does that have anything to do with the fish going down or we going uphill? And then it says, like it says... Wait, is it like the heat of the hot water? It says that's the mocha. Like it says, no zoom in Livanon. I don't know, is that a reference to Bina Livanon? Maz Gishid in Barzi. What the? Oh, yeah. So again, we have them going 60 parsons. And we're like, why are they going 60 parsons? We're like, what's going on with this Rabbi Nachman? I'm like, oh, this guy got today's year. Today's year yeah. is sponsored by Holy Jig Don. So what do you guys even think that I would ever let some guy sponsor my our shir? Even though this oh, yeah. is healthy food. And I'm drinking coconut wig. But it's only a placeholder until he can get holy juices worldwide. Oh, man, I mean. Thank you. No, okay. So, he says that's the beginning of Gavuros because the Shishim Giburim. Ah. Uh, so the 60, we like to say the 60 is reference to Malachot. 60 queens, 60 Mesechdas. It's also the 60 is a reference to Gevura because we have 60 strong men. <laughs> the Ram Gevura. Yeah, they're talking about Ram. Ram has to do with the chauffeur. Remember I mentioned at the beginning, it's really not when they're talking about chauffeur, we're not getting into it. Let's make it over here. When when the barja when the, the the horseback riders shot an arrow, Persia double in as chesed. Oh, we're talking about the Persia. That's chesed. Jew won't see the or dalumos because he brings to light secrets. The verbs in mitzum tzamim umir bareishosam. So tzimtzum is an act of gavur, right? Symptom restricting yourself when a guy's brother restricts himself, create the world. That was an act of Gavura Lamaisa, right? Kaj Baruch tried creating the world with Chesed, didn't work. And she was like, All right, let me do Simpson, let me do this Gavura. And then he was able to create the world. But the understanding, but he gave us the Tyra. Tyra has Chesed. The understanding of the secrets of the world is the biggest chesed. The unpacking of the gavura. Understanding gavura is the biggest chesed. Gira, da, shalach, yitzecha, v'tehomeim. Right? Yo, you guys, our favorite tehillim, Kuk Mem Dalit. Yeah, it was just quoted. 
send your chitzecha, send your, you know, where's the hell of the or, or you can give me the tana. But send me, send your, right? We're saying to Hashem, yo, these nations are coming after me. Send your arrow and confuse them. Come back to Chesed, the the Amin. Ah. So it's that buzzer, and it says Okay. And actually, over here it talks about in this buzzer it talks about the minam, you mean shaker. Their 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 right is right the right hand is the right hand of of lies, and here they're talking about specifically here. Barok barak utetit same scatter them. Shalach chitzecha to him send your your chitzecha and you'll confuse them. This is my favorite tehillim. I've been stacking this tehillim like crazy recently, and all of a sudden it comes up. Revenson, how crazy is that? We've literally been stacking kufem dalid. For the last few days, I don't even know how we got to it in the first place. What? What? The final pass. The final pass. Take time. Very good. Yes, so that is the let's go back to the to to the right, right? Kadmalai Dabakina's Yira Shi Kodam. Jairo Kodem as Rashis Rachma Yiraz Adainai. So the arrow, the arrow the arrow was going, but first, whatever this arrow represented, first the boat came first. The boat was faster. Because Yiraz Hashem is the most chachim thing a yid could have. To be able to see that everything in this world is Abish there. It says, Reish is Rachma, the beginning of Rachma is Yiraz Hashem. Sharab Rachana, see, Barab Rachana told the story. He was going so far with the Midas Ayira, so much he that saw that the Abish there. Barab Godel Koach Ayira, he saw how great the Yira was. He's able to understand, right? Not being sheets on the sheets. So this, this was, he was talking about before Gazardin, after Gazardin, right? In the beginning of, like, he's talking about like the shofar. Right? The tefillah, he says, is the two types of tefillah. There's the villa before the Gazar did, and then the villa after the Gazar did. So when he says we're going through the fins, that's like going, it's going, going between the Gazar dins. Ah. So how can you understand Yeras Hashem? Right? Yeras Hashem is so important. How can we possibly understand Yeras Hashem? It's such an important Zach. I said mitvos. I said M I T Z S E Q R P R Q U R N M percent two L F. I said mitvos. Chain beginas plus the yomi. That's the three, the three types of mitvos that we have, right? The yomam balayla, muskalos, mikubalos, bechugos. That's how you can understand your Hashem. The davka gives you aizin, aiza b'simcha. What, you think you're going to understand here as Hashem doing mitzvahs in a scared, panicked way? Because the goes and he davens to a Kaddish Baruch Hu because he's afraid of what happens if he doesn't daven. And he's davening and he's shaking in his boots and he's crying from fear, from pachad, chaz b'shalom. That, that is not the way that a person is going to understand here as Hashem. Only through Zimcha. The idea is Simcha is a mitzvah. Yochel Avin, Yechadosh Baruch Hu, Mr. Meach Ben Mazav, Yechadosh Baruch Hu, Yechadosh Baruch Hu is happy with his actions. The Simcha Himelubesh is the mitzvah. The Simcha 
Avakadosh Baruch Hu is is cloaked in the mitzvahs. So Hashem is happy when we're doing mitzvahs because that's that's his master. That's what he did. And the simcha, Hashem says, this is how you can make me happy. Put on tefillin, you know, be nice to one another, give tzedakah, eat kosher food, you know. And we're happy from a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Yes, Mach Yisrael, but Oza of Israel is going to be happy with it, with her maker. The ain't ritzonen who b'shum zagar. We don't want what I want to pray to God that a Kaddish Baruch Hu will give me, uh, will give me, uh, will, will give me a good investment in stock. No, I don't want schar. I don't even want schar in the next world, right? I don't want schar. I just want the mitzvah. The ihu that that ihu is a key for other b'shivula. The fish is tim chazo came tim chazdenu. The ayi deze and not the yichol and the havi. Wow, the fish was in the keep. I mean, it was erect. It was going uphill. It was going downhill because when we do mitzvahs, our mitzvahs are misamech Hashem going up. But that when Hashem is misamech us going down, we do the mitzvahs. It's called or, or a choser, or uh, a tata, no, or a tata, no, uh, tata, nila, maybe there's a word for it, or elion, or tachton, you know, and so that's what it means that we're it goes up and we're going down, it's talking about us doing mitzvahs. <laughs> How are we going to get Simcha? We get Simcha through sound, right? Through the shofar. V'zehu ki azner of Dimi. And that's the shot at the end of the story. Where Rav Dimi came, he says, It was kemecham kum kema demaya. That's b'chinaz kol ra'amcha b'galgal. Your, your voice is in the galgal. In, it's a place in the... In, in, in the in in the Golan Heights, maybe, but the sound of your ra'am. She didn't say in his gavuros. So sixty sixty persons that it was able to go in the time that to heat up hot water. Sing is the gavuros abogim be galgalta. So galgal is also a reference to keser. And the Gevuras, the 60 Gevuras, it messes up Kesser. It messes up the Gilgulta. It messes, it messes up the highest level. Is that impossible? No, it can't be shot. So I don't know what the shot is. Mess up Kesser, Khalil. The Gevuras are poking, I don't know, maybe in the Kesser of Nukpa or something. I don't know. Nazim, I'm blinding. Nazim, Ra'amim. Ra'am is like, a loud sound. Ishtama kala makes a sound. The sound sometimes it awakens in dent. And then it says, So where does Gavura get its strength from? From Chazad. Therefore, you have to include small biyamin. Tadi, this might explain something that you learned back in Hillel. Back in the day, we learned it when we were kids, and we were like, oh, I guess. So we're like, what the? This is going to explain it. I don't know anyone who still does this. I mean, I still do it when I put on shoes with, with, uh, with, with and I'm sure like everyone, I'm sure the Rebson does it, I'm sure does it, I'm sure like they didn't do it. But, you know, you put your right foot on, right shoe on, left shoe on, tie the left shoe, tie the right shoe. Right? Everyone knows about this, and the people are like, why are we doing this? And the answer is because we're in Nachman says over here that we want to include the left in the right. We're going to start with the right, we're going to end with the right, and the left, the Gavur is going to be included in the Chesed. The Aval Bich and Zarek Lakdama as a hero, but even so, even though Everything is included in the chazad. Still, here has to come first. Because someone who lost 
is the one that's going after what he lost, right? I lost uh, I lost a rib. As I was looking for this rib, I found it. I found it walking around in Vegas, not carrying on Shabbos, his little rib. I was like, oh, I my rib. Kemusha Amr Chazal, and Chazal say, in Kedushin, based on base, Derek Hoshel Ish Lach Zor Ala Isha, right? The guy is the one who lost his rib, so it's the way of the guy to look for his wife. Like, where's that rib? I lost long, I, I looked long, far and long for that rib. And then I found it. A nice barbecue rib. Spicy. All right. Mazaladam, Javzal Aveda, he lost his Aveda Perush. Kiava is Bechina's Ish. Love is the trait of a human. And he's gone. Love is the trait of a human. The Yira, but fear, or let's say awareness, awareness. I don't like fear. Fear is pachat. Yira is more like awareness, from Lashon Re'iya, to see. Now we're back! So, yo, Schlegs, it's good that you came back because Rabbi Nachman here is teaching the, the, the building blocks of man versus woman. A man is built from Ava, from love. A woman is built from Yira, from seeing, from awareness. A <laughs> aware, year, nice. And a woman, you can tell you, they call women's intuition. I'm like, yo, women intuition, and there wouldn't be so many single mothers if they if women really had good intuition. Um, but about women and about men, the right men. All right, any whom women have intuition, they have this year, they have this awareness. Um, he had do the 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 al kain therefore starts the hakdim as a year. Year has to come first. The woman has to come first. Ladies first. Um, ki az davo elav ava memela, because once you do yira first, so then obviously the ava is going to come. But first, you need the awareness before the love. Ki ava holachet umichazeres achar hayira tamid. The ava love is always looking for the, the awareness. Kibala the master achar ave does all right. A yid, a human, a man has so much love in him. And he's just looking for where can I put this love? He's not even aware, like where am I gonna put this love? You know? Sometimes that hates him in a body in the life, Sakhali. Okay. Um Zebuginas Kishada Parshagira. Yo, he says, Kak Shamati mi piba kadosh beferosh. So this is written by Rabbi Nasan. And Rabbi Nasan writes, I heard this exact thing explicitly said by Rabbi Nachman. I don't know when he, it's, when he says this. I've never seen Rabbi Nasan say that before. He says, This is the Bechina that he threw. He threw the arrow. I don't want to say arrow of love. But. You know, he threw the arrow of love, but the boat of Yer Hashem came before the arrow. Ah, oh, legs sends a heart. I don't want to say what Cupid had an arrow, and now we're off. Now we're in, now they're in the what is it? Is the boat of Zara? <laughs> Cubes. Nice throwback humor. Thanks. I'm a Ravaji. Ravaji says, "Guild was the Yama. What what animal was it? It was a guild and uh, the Yama." Gildana is Bechinas of the shame. Olive Gimel Lamed Olive. Rabbi, so where's my center? Okay, I don't need it because I learned something when I was in 12th grade and I still remember it. The name of Hashem, Olive Gimel Lamed Olive. I have never seen, I haven't seen this thing in 14 years since high school. Olive Gimel Lamed Olive is the Roche Devos. Adagi Borli Olam Adonai. It's the only time I've seen this 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 name of Hashem, but I've never ever ever learned about it. I was eighteen or seventeen when I first came across this Al Gimel Lamed Olive. Now I'm thirty four. Wow! If I was seventeen, I spent half my life not ever hearing Al Gimel Lamed Olive. Then I spent another seventeen years. I knew about the name, but I never learned the Torah behind it. 
And now Rabbi Nachman just brings it up. Ataki Borel Madunai. That's the <laughs> that's the gilda. Shehu bechinas gevura. Ah, Ataki Borel Yolam Hashem. The second one of Shmonesre. And that's right. That's is the gilda. Kihu Roshi Tevos. Boom. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I have not seen this yet. You saw what I saw, and you saw what I didn't see, right? You saw what I saw in the uh, in the orange, but you saw when it came to the new stuff, the part that's on our thing, I did not see. So I had no way of knowing that he was about to say that I'll call the right is Kihu Roshi Devos at Nagibor Lil Amadonai. Unbelievable. Baruch said keeps. Um, which is the gematria of Agal of one. <laughs> All right, so the well, name include, of, these including the Kolel, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know though I still I still when people include the Kolel, I still go like this. You know, whether it's Mr. <laughs> Bura or Rebbe Nachman, anyone including the Kolel. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'd not say Epshat and Gamachi and say Epshat and Gamachi with the Kolel, but Aleph Gimel Lamid Aleph, right? Is the same Ag Agla thirty five, very interesting. The thirty five we say on Shabbos on Shabbos Kiddush, the thirty five words from like a certain point. I was counting it out on my fingers Friday night because like I was like, oh look, I wrote thirty five words from here. I was counting it out, but was like, what are you counting? Um, so this is the Gilda. Aleph Gimel Lamid Aleph. Gilda is shame of Gimel Amid Aleph and shame of Dalit Nun Yud. It's a mixture of those names, okay? That's why they call it Gilda. Okay, so now he's going to finish this shot explaining, oh, how everything really goes back to the shofar that we skipped because uh, who's this, the crowd that I'm going to read every word? The sound that the shofar makes. Oh, there it goes. Right? Where, 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 where was that puzzle? That helped me. Hallelujah. That's it? Yeah, hallelujah. Oh, I love having people in Sheer that daven. It's very good. What? Ah, should I go? Yo, me and David J are going to leave right now, but the davener is no Khalil, the chair bed. It was sure what. Um, so this is the field of the Shmarku. Yiram Hayam Umalo O. And as we're going to say, Ram him the call, Ram Kabi Gal Gal, and then Tevel the Yosheva, the Bukhinas Liba the Arkin delay. It's the heart and the different contain compartments of it. Perfect. Kemosha Amr, like he says, Lo Nivru Ram Nivru Arki Tevel is Osha's top lane. Okay, we're not doing this this Tevel part. We just wanted to analyze the Ram of Rakhana part. And so we learned to to uh, to conclude here today. Chair number 116, what that news night. Tomorrow. We learned the Rebbe nothing about a fish. It was going fast. 
Faster than an arrow, we learn from there. Awareness gotta come before love. Cause if love comes before awareness, are you aware what you love in? Question did mark sometimes love because of more awareness than a kid falls in love with the globe. Ramban al if love comes before awareness, a kid could fall in love with Carl Sagan or the other guy Tyson Khazbik Khalil. If love comes before awareness, a yin might love a politician before he knows they're all a bunch of Satanist pedos. We gotta be aware and then we gotta love. There's only one exception a yin could think of and that's not seven Nishma. Oh, get away from me! Mosquito! Flash! Flash! Now seven is more, as I was saying. It has his dinner. There's a huge mosquito, a Bill Gates mosquito. I can see it. I can see Bill Gates' signature on this mosquito. It says, this one, this, uh, one of these mosquitoes gives, gives uh, Moderna. The other one gives freaking Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson mosquitoes. Tiny one. It has the, the Windows one, symbol you know? on it. What? Has the Windows. has the Windows symbol on it. Yeah, it has, yeah. There's the symbol of... Uh...